Here we are in another video, and this is our progress so far. We've got the bridge, we've got the pickups, the, the uh, pick guard and screws, we've got the various uh, knobs with some kind of indication of levels. And now I think it's time to go ahead and make a bridge of sorts, the, uh, the other bridge where the strings are going to um, actually attach. So let's go into wireframe and have a close look at this. I've got my 3D cursor right in the center, so I'm gonna go Shift A and bring in a circle, rotate X90, and bring it up. I'm gonna to try to fit in a small bridge here, um, similar to the way it really should look. I'm gonna go off the diagram a little bit. I'm gonna to have to go as far as I can over to here. So I'm gonna go with possibly that. Go into edit mode, vertex, and I'm going to box select all of these vertices and delete them. I'm leaving the one uh, on the top and the bottom that would go off uh, horizontally. Select them all and shift D, rotate Y 180 degrees to spin it around. I'm going to come out to here for now. Um, actually, I could sort of look at the distance between that last vert vertex <coughs> and the string and get a similar distance. I'm going to select those two and go F to make a face. These two, F to make a face, select them all, F to make a face for the whole thing, E to extrude, and I'm going to pull it up a little bit like that. I'll make sure my polys are facing the right way, and we'll come back into object mode, set origin to geometry. Okay, so here's what we've got. I think I will go ahead and uh, let's apply rotation and scale and let's give this a bevel. I'm not sure if the bottom is going to show. I think it might a little, so I'll bevel both top, top and bottom. I'll give it two segments there to round it off a bit like that. Okay, and then I'm going to select it and shift S cursor to select it. I'm going to bring in a cylinder now <coughs> right here. And I want to rotate this, rotate Y90. I'm going to start scaling it down. And let's zoom in. I'll scale it up again to about there. Scale this in the X now. And let's have a look in wireframe to see. Okay, so the screw is there on either side. So let's scale this in the X. Let's come back to about there. See if I can leave myself a small amount of room on either side to put some kind of a bolt there. All right, so that's all right. Um, let's go ahead and take this to another layer, just that cylinder. And um, what I'm gonna do is uh, have a look from the side, go into edit mode and wireframe and vertex. And I'm gonna chop half of it off like this, those vertices. And then I am going to, um, I can do this a couple of ways. I can grab that edge and this edge and go Control E, uh, bridge edge loops. And I can now grab that, that side, that face, those edges and make a face, those edges and make a face. All right, back in the solid view. <clears throat> I probably didn't need this bottom face now that I think about it. Let's bring this back into the first layer. And uh, boy, I'm off, flipped around, eh? There we go. Um, I just want to have another look. All right, I'm going to leave it at that for the size, I guess. So let's uh, let's go ahead and rotation and scale. Come in and shift all click that edge and this edge, and Control B and pull back a little ways. We'll give this a bit of a bevel like that. We can smooth this. <clears throat> we can smooth this. <clears throat> and let's, uh, we got this 3D cursor there, so let's go Shift A and bring in another circle. Rotate X90. Scale it down, obviously. And I'm going to bring this over here. about as big as I'm gonna be able to get it. And I'm gonna make this slightly different than a typical 
uh, bridge. I have to make a face, eat the extrude, pull it up a ways. Um, yeah, I may want to do it upside down, so I'll do it like this, and then I'll not that come back into object mode and I'll control a rotation and scale. And then with that face still selected, I'm going to go I'd inset like this. E and bring it up a good ways. I can always shorten that if I want to. And I'm going to actually flip it around. Uh, rotate X 180 degrees to put it back in. So that would be like the bolt that sits on top. It doesn't necessarily have to be that tall. <clears throat> but I'm going to be beveling this back anyhow. So let's try that. A couple of segments there. Um, maybe I will squash it a bit. Let's scale this in the Y. Like that. Push it in. No, it doesn't quite touch the body anymore. So, all right, let's lengthen it a bit. I could hide stuff, but I couldn't be bothered. Instead, I'll futz around with this. All right, let's grab this face if I can. Got it. Just bring it down. Now I can even delete that face to be a good guy. One of the good guys. All right. Let's pull that back in. Like this. I could have been looking from the side all along and probably realize it was. <laughs> it's okay. Um, let's shift S cursor to selected and bring in a cube, which we will scale right down. Uh, let's just scale this in the X like that. Let's scale it to Z and cut it right through like that. And something like that for a screwdriver to go in. Apply rotation and scale. Let's do a Boolean on the bolt, screw, whatever that is. Apply. Uh, let's get rid of that. So that's what we'd have there. We could try smoothing it. Oh, this is all going to change when I join it, but that's all right for now. And that's that's what I would be going for, all right? So uh, I think I'll just look down, and I think just by hand I'm going to copy this over to the other side. Just like that. But I think I'll rotate this one. Rotate Y. Maybe this one too. So they're not straight up and down. Let's see about joining some of these things. All right, I'll worry about that in a second. All right, so let's put on that for now. Okay, and the height of that can be adjusted in a bit. All right, let's now put uh, the cursor back in the center and work on the fingerboard. Okay, Shift A, bring it a plane, rotate X90, bring it down, scale it in the X, scale it in the Z. And if you look carefully at the diagram, <laughs> you're going to notice that uh, it just ends and I don't know what it does. And so I think what I decided was, let's go in there and grab this edge. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up and end it, you know, like right around there. This is the shortest piece of, of fretboard you've ever you've ever seen. All right, uh, let's, let's uh, select it, E to extrude. Let's bring this up a ways and come back in object mode and have a look look at this. Apply rotation and scale, origin to geometry, and we're going to bevel this. Grab the verticals. Yeah, control B just a small amount, just a little bit like that, but I'll grab the top. I don't think I need to do the bottom. So just like that. Smallest bit of bevel. Okie doke. Now um, I want to make some frets. Let's see if I can get like a couple in there. Shift A, bring in a cube again. Scale it way down in the Z, and we'll have a look at that. And in the X, scale in the Y, and let's bring it out and have a closer look at this. Scale out a lot more in the Y, like that, and in the Z. Let's bring it in and see what it would be like. Yeah, I like. 
like that position. And I don't want it too small, I want it visible. All right, let's see roughly where it would be positioned. You know, I could do one, I could do it there and then another one, and that would probably be it. Um, let's bring it out just a little bit. Let's apply rotation and scale to that. Go in and select that edge and that edge. Control B and pull back and put just one segment in there. Um, I could consider rounding the edges as well. A very small amount. Yeah, that'd be all right. Every little bit helps. Just to there. It's not exactly the way frets go, but this, this is just a model. Okay, we'll go back into wireframe and shift D, copy it down here. I could see what it looks like if I brought another one up to there. I don't think it's gonna look any good though, but let's let's have a look at that. Let's not do that. Let's go uh, bring a circle, rotate X90, and scale it. Bring it into the middle. Go into edit mode, F to make face, E, pull it up a little bit. Control B, pull back, give maybe two segments. I'll scale this in the Y a bit to flatten it. Pull it down into the fingerboard, but I do want it to show a little bit. I'll hit smoothing. And let's have a look at this. And this, I might make that smaller. This would represent the fingerboard. Now, is that the height? Is that not the height? What we'll do is I'm going to join all of these together. Scale it in the wire a little bit down. I'll put, I'll leave it there for now, and we're going to see. Might be, might be just fine. Now the next thing to do is to try with strings. All right, and this is the way I'm going to do strings. Shift A, curve path, um, rotate Y90. Bring it roughly under there. Let me turn to the side. Pull it up. All right, that idea. Okay. Now, front view. Shift D. I'm going to do that for all six strings. Like this. Now, these are curves. <coughs> so let's uh, go ahead and put on full. I'm under this icon here. Um, I'm going to choose an arbitrary 0 0.010 for the time being and resolution of 2. Okay, I'm going to do that for all of them. I could have done that from the beginning. I could have done that from the beginning for, and then just copy them that way. I didn't think of that. It's all right. Just take me a second here. Make sure you switch it to full 0 0.01. And resolution of two. Zero point zero one two. Got it. Now those strings won't all be the same thickness in the end. <coughs> double check that they will all go into the bridge here at the end. All right, now, 
it's a little unbalanced as you can see so I'm going to take this and I'm going to shift it down a bit to about there I still clear there perfect that's exactly what I wanted excellent all right now all I'm going to do next is I'm going to select them all and I'm going to join them all right and while they are joined I am then going to start working on them okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to box select all of these upper vertices here okay so I got those ones and I got those ones I'm going to go W subdivide and that's going to put another bunch there I'm going to take these ones and pull them back a little bit I'll go to the side and I'm going to pull down all right so it looks like the strings would come along and then go into that now I just want to figure out where I want to pull them down to and are they still selected they are all right so let's go over here um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try pulling them down into there and we're gonna see if we clear the screws or what the deal is here okay they start going down into there so what I'm gonna do at this point is um, I'm gonna do a couple of things deselect those for the moment and have a look here I think what I would like to do is raise this grab the strings again I'll box select these I'm just gonna take a little bit of tweaking pull them up see how I'm doing all right so what I'll do is as uh, y direction I'm gonna grab them all go Y and we're gonna come up a bit not all the strings are going to be this thick keep that in mind that's gonna be fine and I don't care if this guitar has very high action. I might lower at some point. Let's go back in and have a look. All right. All right, the next thing I wanna do is take these vertices, pull them back. Um, I might grab these vertices and use them. Pull these down here. Okay. I'm also going to box select these ones. So I'll pull them all. Like this. And I'm going to take these guys to the side. And we're going to see how we do with this. That. That. We're not there yet, are we? All right. Problem. That's what these guys are here for. I'll bring them. Okay. This is how my strings are going to end. All right. Again, this is just a model. Keep that in mind. Now, what have I got left in terms of vertices? I got these. Um, let me just make sure I didn't uh, cause a problem here. All right, that's all right so far still. I'm going to see if I can lower the action a little bit. I'm going to grab all of those. I do that. How bad is it going to bend? want to do that yet
select these ones, bring them back. Double check this again. Okay, so those are attaching there. They're coming down over the pickups, over that, and they're clearing. Now, I may have some trouble when I convert these into different sizes. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in, I select a, a, vertis, a vertex and uh, what did I just do? Select the vertex and go Control L. What to get the linked P to make it a new object? Come into these ones. Select the vertex, Control L, P. So I'm breaking it out of the combined object and I'm putting it on its own again. P. shouldn't have to do this one that one's on its own right okay so this one is 10 now let's try going down uh, 0 0.008 0 0.006 mm, it's gonna get pretty small uh, 0 0.004 0.002 you know I'm thinking mm, let's go a little bit differently that's 10 maybe I'll make that 9 doesn't have to be perfectly accurate and that's 0 0.007 okay so I'll make like a D string sort of and then I'll make this 0 0.006 We'll do four, and we'll do two. Let's save, and uh, first of all, let's look back up at the bridge. Bridge looks okay for what we want to do. It's just whether or not they all cleared the, the uh, fretboard, oh, and they did. You know, that's basically what I was thinking of doing for for the stringing of, of this thing. Stringing is never perfect in my case, but it could it could go like that. All right. Um, now I'm not converting it to a mesh yet. I think what I'll do. I didn't do this. The uh, peg. Let's do that real quick. Let's select this shift S cursor to selected. And let's bring in a let's just bring a cylinder. Let's just make our own pig. Well, we could look actually. I could bring it up here. And make it similar. Let's just scale it like that. Okay. And scale in the Z. Go in, put an edge loop. E, scale shift Z, bring it out in nice ways. I'm going to come back into it in a minute. But first of all, rotation and scale, edge. Those two edges will bevel that. I'll take this E and I'll bring it in. As if there would be a bolt there. Take that, and I'll bevel that. And I'll take that face here, and I'll scale it. I could even bevel this edge. I mean, it's a lot of polys. You know, for, for not much gain, really. But it's okay. Um, <clears throat> let me smooth that. Let's rotate this in the Y. Let's go have a look. Oh, 
I'll put it roughly, roughly in the middle. I don't know. I can do a bolt thing in there, but I don't think I will. All right. <clears throat> I think what it's time now to start. See, I, I don't know about texturing this thing. Um, I. Uh, normally you would probably texture as you build or at least apply materials I think I'm just gonna join everything together and then start uh, dealing with uh, some of the smoothing stuff so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go into the body of this guitar you notice the streaking and all of that I'm gonna select these faces before I do anything else I'm gonna hit E to extrude and come out and it's done all right I'm not going to see that problem anymore. We're not really going to deal with the back, I don't think, but I can select that and just do that once. Okay. Now, I can start joining some things and then we can see what else is happening. So, actually, well, let's join the pick guard to the body. Now my screws get all weird, so we'll uh, deal with that in a bit. Let's join this. Let's join this text. I mean, no mesh data. Ah, this is still uh, curves. Ah, I gotta convert that to a mesh. Alt C mesh join. This one. Alt C mesh join. Now what about this stuff? And this is this joint? And this. I just want to make sure that there's no uh, modifiers on still. Ah. Subdivision surface, I'm applying it. And this joint, did I get everything there? Yeah. Okay, uh, any text on here? No, that should be able to be joined, right? Yeah. And this stuff, yeah, okay. Let's just go through it and join it all. It doesn't have to be joined, and it certainly makes it harder if you're gonna texture, but uh, the screws should be all joined. All right. Let's do the speakers. Join. Ah, oh, geez, I'm gonna forget. Uh, let's hide that for the moment and see what's going on with this guy. Let's join you. Let's hide this and join. You know, before I do that, actually, let's let me come back a bit. There was one thing I noticed, and that was whether or not this speaker was wide enough and so I'm going to widen it so I'm going to go scale shift Y just to be a little bit more similar to this one and that's all I wanted to do grab it and join it let's hide this this one and join it this and join let's go all page and bring those back these and join let's save right now because it's going so well oh yeah pickups all right okay so um the shading stuff and so i'm just gonna oh, grab that and go e and the screws are on there and i'm gonna commit to that and join it and it's the same thing with this one select that surface e fingerboard that up high enough let's just go with it um, okay now there's more what we got over here cutting tool get rid of that some polys that flip we'll see or it's just a difference in shading let's apply the bevel on these grab them all and join and what's the deal with these guys no modifiers on them
that's not joined there. It's all joined, right? It's on the body now. Um, that's looking okay. This thing. I don't know if it's worth doing a global thing because that'll affect the body, but I think it's okay. Now, let me see what is not attached to strings. Oh, the strings are the scariest part for me. I never know if I like them or not. I think we just have to make a decision and just go with them. Um, I think I'm gonna have to convert these to a mesh. out hope that's not too thin <coughs> depending on how it's viewed all right <coughs> let's take all these and that's everything so far isn't it that's what we got so far Okay, so let's leave it there for the time being and uh, we'll carry on in a bit.